Dro Kenji is the future of internet money. Dro has only been signed or with internet money for a couple years at this point, not even two years, and he's already released four mixtapes and his debut project with or without you and he's not slowing down anytime soon. Taz Taylor, the head of internet money, has already said that they're working on the next project with Dro and obviously this is the truth because Dro releases so many projects a year. He released two in 2020 which were Tears and Pistols and Race Me to Hell and then in 2021 Dro released Eat Your Heart Out and F Your Feelings. F Your Feelings features 16 tracks with zero features on it and then just to start out 2022 Dro already released his debut album within the first month of the new year. From what I've found so far, Dro has released over 60 songs with internet money and out of these 60 songs, only 5 of the songs actually have features on them, which means that internet money pretty much sees something in Dro and his style and his voice that he doesn't really need collaborations. They want to push just Dro and his music specifically, which is one of the most unique and cool marketing strategies that I've seen so far. We saw how Internet Money handles previous artists before, like Ian Dior, for example. With his debut mixtape, Nothing's Ever Good Enough, they got a Bernard Jabs feature, which was another underground artist, but they also got a couple mainstream artists like PMB Rock, and then obviously a trippy feature came early in Ian's career, but we're seeing a little bit of a different route with Dro. We know that Dro has some bigger features with artists like Ian Dior, for example, and even MGK, but a few of these are being held off to be released, like the MGK collab will be released on the Internet Money album, coming sometime this year but the entire marketing strategy behind dro is insane they release multiple projects a year with little to no features on them and they're just trying to push good music a mix of dro's voice with the production from internet money whether it's nick mira census cody anyone it just turns out so well and i think dro has the most potential out of any internet money artist i've seen so far to really blow up and become a mainstay in the rap game right now now. With all this being said, let's just dive into what led Dro to find internet money, how they all linked up, and then how we ended up getting a debut project from Dro and internet money. Link up with internet money. How did this whole connection um, between you and them come about? Last, it was August 2020. Okay. So I was just cooling, you know what I'm saying? I was in South Carolina, and I got a DM from John Hicks, my manager. Shout out to John. Yeah, shout out to John. So then, yeah, so then, well, he wasn't my manager at the time. At that time, he was just some random nigga on Instagram. I didn't know who that nigga was. So he DM, <laughs> I don't look offended, he was. So I, he DM me, but he had, he had internet money in his bio. So like I had peeped that he was A&R and shit. So I didn't, I wasn't like, he was completely random. Like, you feel me? Like, I knew he was. So he had hit me, he was like, yo, send me some unreleased shit. And I was like, all right, bet. So I was just sending some shit. I didn't hear nothing for like, a month and then one day he's randomly hit me and was like yo fly to la and i was like say less because <laughs> i was trying to get the fuck through from south carolina bro because dro is still so new to the scene and obviously he's not a huge artist just yet it's kind of hard to find information on him when it regards his backstory and where he came from some of the basic information of find on Dro is that he was born in 2002, which makes him 19 or 20 at this point, and he also came from South Carolina, and he did discuss how he did meet Taz Taylor and everything, and a and from Internet Money did find Dro, and that's what led him to end up signing to Internet Money. If you look on Apple Music or any streaming platform, you can see that the first few mixtapes that were released are actually independently released just from Dro Kenji. Obviously, they had the backing and the push and the help from Internet Money, but Dro didn't officially sign his deal with Internet Money until his third mixtape, Eat Your Heart Out, released. He ended up signing to Internet Money, Mira Touch, and 10K Projects. This is Nick Mira's first officially signed artist, one of Internet Money's few signed artists. Internet Money and 10K Projects do have a joint venture collab. That's how we ended up getting artists like Stacy, Ian, all signed to 10K Projects, even if they're not directly working with Internet Money anymore. <laughs> With or Without You is the first full-length project from Dro Kenji, produced by Internet Money completely and executive produced by them, and this album showcases so much growth in Dro's talent, it's almost unreal. 
In only two weeks of With or Without You being released, this has already became my favorite Dro project so far. I don't know why, but every single time Dro drops, I really do think every time his music gets better and better. It's just starting from the beginning when he released his debut mixtape, Tears and Pistols, in 2020. It was a really good project that I did enjoy, but as time went on and he kept releasing more and more, I kept becoming more and more of a fan of Dro. And by the time where we got to where we are now with With or Without You, it's insane how much growth you can really see, not only in the lyrics that Dro uses, but the flows, the way his voice has changed. It's really crazy that we're literally watching Dro grow with each project that drops. Going into With or Without You, there was really only one thing I had in mind, and it was that the lead single, Vanish, was something I wasn't a huge fan of, but that didn't even matter. That's genuinely the only song that I'm not a huge fan of on this project. After listening to this album a few times, it's got to the point where it just brings up the question yet again, why does Dro not have more eyes on him? Why is he not more popping than he is? I've never heard another artist be able to switch the flow four or five times in the same track and then do it again and again and again for an entire album's worth of songs. If With or Without You shows us anything, it proves to us that if Internet Money and Dro take a couple months or some time to put together a project, it will be worth the wait and it will not disappoint. Even just listening to older Dro projects after listening to With or Without You, it's almost like it's not even the same artist just because of how much Dro has already grown in under two years of being signed and working with Internet Money. I think that the future for Dro is going to be very bright, especially if he sticks to down the same lane he's kind of going down it's obviously working i do think that dro deserves more recognition and more eyes on him but as an underground artist or somebody that is just coming into the game he's already seen a lot of success and quite honestly he has over 1.6 million monthly listeners just based off of the mixtapes he previously released and his debut album with or without you that dropped in january and dro's not even done yet he's literally taken to twitter to confirm that he's going to be releasing a mixtape before his next album he tweeted out mixtape before my next album and then he goes to retweet that he goes on to say never mind f the question mark i'm telling you so not only does this confirm that dro already released with or without you at the beginning beginning of this year but I would honestly predict that we're gonna get this mixtape sometime mid this year and I kind of think that they're probably gonna finish out this year with another Dro album so that would literally be another three projects in one year released and honestly I'm a huge fan of this method and I know Dro's fans are I've personally talked to a lot of Kenji fan accounts and I know that they love how consistent Dro is with releasing snippets that his fans want and unheard songs that are honestly just insane Dro literally just released a new track today called Up at Night and it literally fits down the exact same path of what I'm talking about. It literally has different flow changes, two verses that are very unique to the song and it has a great beat produced by Internet Money once again. So quite honestly, if you ask me, Draw has a bright future in store for him and I'm really excited to see what's next for him and I'm glad that we're all here watching everything that's going to happen.